Why you've been called here today. It's a matter of great urgency. We have an important mission to perform. To kill the Shaolin traitors. One by one. Got it? We've got no time to waste. At all. I understand. Now you've got to remember. Your identity must be kept secret. to destroy all that lovely beauty. Do you know why? Because I'm a good man. <laughs> That's why. Now, you must cooperate with me. You must tell me the whereabouts and the enrollment records of the Wudong clan. Do you understand me? <laughs> I wouldn't tell you anything. Huh? I wouldn't betray my very own people. For a man of your kind. 
<laughs> You're a very brave girl, but it's no good. <laughs> Life is very short, <laughs> and I suggest you tell me. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> you really disappoint me. <laughs> After all, I'm Chinese too. <laughs> I'm Chinese as well. Listen, you better tell me where the enrollment records are or else <laughs> you'll be very, very sorry that you didn't. Finds this paper should hand it to the woodcutter, fisherman, farmer, or doctor for a big reward. And Pearl? I uh, hope I'm lucky today. Oh, boy. <laughs> dragon is. I'm only the vegetable grower. I just supply the temple with vegetables. I have no idea what goes on inside the Shaolin temple. I really don't. I just sell vegetables there. Please. I have no the idea. The dragon is a young monk. I've never heard of him before. Uh. Who is that guy? Who on earth knows? <laughs> Yes, Master! 
Drag along. Don't forget to chop the wood. So you're really busy, huh? Oh, it's my dear friend. Come, have some wine. Hey, why do you work so hard here? Here. Well, you know, I'm only a young monk here. Come on, drink. Hey, have you seen or heard anything of our uncle recently? Oh, my uncle? No, I haven't. Why? Have you heard something? I'm afraid it's bad news. He was killed. Oh, that's impossible. My uncle was excellent kung fu. So you're looking for the enrollment record of my society? That's right. Hand it over. No. <clears throat> Shoes. <sighs> They're really ruthless. Yeah, come on, drink, drink. <sighs> come on. <sighs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. <clears throat> oh. 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 <clears throat> hey, you drained every drop. What are you trying to prove? Well, monks shouldn't drink anyway. Just mind your own business. <laughs> 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 
So you think your Shaolin Kung Fu can match mine? Ooh. Commander! Commander! Uh, 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 what's, uh, what's wrong? Uh, Commander, there are some intruders there trying to break into our stronghold here. Uh, oh, uh, uh, what, what about the chop? Uh, the chop's is quite safe, Commander. I have it right here with me. Here it is. Uh, put it down. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 I warn you, you should not be so stubborn. You should give up your revolution and hand over your enrollment records. Be smart. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to disappoint you this time. Oh, but remember what happened to White Mantis then. <laughs> doesn't matter. No. Listen, you'll never be able to destroy the Wu Dong. Uh -huh. But don't forget that Pearl is now in Commander Wong's hands and at his mercy. Oh, so it was Commander Wong. <laughs> yes, it was. And what do you think you're going to do about it then? Tell me. No problem. I have ways of dealing with the Manchu bastards and that Commander Wong. Oh. So, let's see you do it then, you smart ass! <laughs>
Nein. Fences. And Pearl? Maybe I should release her now. <laughs> yeah. I played a little trick on Commander Wong. Good. He's a really nasty character. <laughs> I know. If not for you, I would have killed him. Let's take shelter in Dragon Lung's temple. Uh, 
<laughs> hey, Commander, they stole my mustache and it's all in your hair as well. <laughs> huh? You mean oh. someone stole your mustache as well? Oh, but I'm not angry. I think it was just the girls doing it for a joke, maybe, huh? <laughs> No joke, my friend. You're afraid. That's why you let Pearl Chow go. Isn't that right? No problem. I can get her back. But Pearl Chow is a very important link in destroying that society. Can't you understand that? Huh. If I didn't release her, they would have had my head on the line that night. Understand? You just listen to me. I know the Wudong very well, and there are no invincible masters in that group. So you know the Wudong. What is Pearl Chow up to? Is she important? Tell me. Of course she is. And now there's going to be lots of trouble. Now look here. I pay you for information. So far, you've given me nothing. What gives? I'm only a small potato in that group. I'm not aware of the confidential goings-on behind my back. Believe me. Well then. Who was it who killed the farmer, the woodcutter, the fisherman, and the doctor? I think it might have been one of those imperial assassins from Peking. Perhaps they wanted to compete with you. Isn't that possible? Impossible. Probably it was those imperial assassins that cut your hair. Then what happened to your mustache? Maybe they wanted me to keep quiet. They know that without my permission, you can do nothing. Even yesterday, they killed one of my men at the Western site. I know about this. Oh, really? Oh, 
Annie. Hiding us. Have we no, been noticed? No. no. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> oh, you must be famished. Oh, this food is really tasty. Come on. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? How come you aren't gonna eat? Hey, you better keep your strength up, you know? This stuff is really tasty. Come on, try it. It's good, try it. The guards have been knocked down. The chop, it's gone, sir. I'm sorry. What? Get out, you idiot! Oh. Must be that bastard. What? What do you mean by this? Tell me. He's a man chew. And so he's against me. Hmm. But a Chinese official, he's always at a disadvantage. If I get the chance, I'll teach him a lesson he won't forget. Is there somebody supporting him? Of course. But I beat him once. It was in a kung fu competition two years ago. <laughs> so that's the reason for all the conflict. And it was a mistake. But now you're in big trouble, aren't you? Huh. Frankly speaking, sometimes I wish I didn't have this job. I'd like to quit. Oh, come on. You can't really be serious now. You're not serious. Are you? Tell me. So, you think that I don't mean it? Aren't you afraid that I would betray you? Of course you won't. Because we're brothers. To go against the law is serious. But I'm involved. I can't betray you. Come on, it was a joke. But you're taking it seriously. <laughs> How can I betray you? I was only joking around anyway. <laughs> hmm. Okay, forget it. But tell me how I can deal with Eagle Chung, huh? What? Eagle Chung? Hmm, that's right. He's really a cunning fox, you know. You have to pretend to be kind of stupid. Me? Stupid? And if you do what I say, there'll be no problem. Hmm, great idea. Commander is sick. Pay attention, there's to be no business. No business for the next three days. Everybody listen to me, no business for the next three days. Hey, you listen to me. Uh, what do you want, huh? Commander Wong is feeling very poorly. Haven't you read the notice? Oh, I don't know how to read. Leave me oh. alone. Everybody listen to me, Commander Wong. He's feeling very sick, there's to be no business for the next three days. <laughs> listen to me, everyone. No business. What? Eagle Chung, we have not seen each other for almost three years. Tell me what brings you here. Commander Wong, I heard that you were sick. Eh? Huh? No need to be concerned. But you seem to be in excellent physical condition, my friend. Hmm. Not me. It's due only to the enrollment. Anyway, you can see my ability is nothing by comparison. Huh? 
<laughs> so the great Eagle Chung has finally become humble. Please, tell me what it was that made you change like that. Yeah. But in three years, I've, I've achieved nothing compared with you. So powerful, uh, great big master. <laughs> you flatter me. My achievements are nothing at all. How can I possibly compare with you? Huh? You must be joking to think that even though I'm born of royalty, my success is due to my own achievement. <laughs> You're not serious. I was only joking about your royalty. Don't toy with me. <laughs> I'm not being serious. I was only joking. How can I compare with your status? <laughs> oh, you're too generous. Please, come in now. No, after you. No, 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 no. The guest first. No, but you are the master. No, please, after you. Well, let's go in together. What a wonderful idea. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, tell me one thing. Why are there no soldiers here today? Well, they were getting so lazy that I told them to go practice Kung Fu. Again, Eagle Chung, is there anything that your humble servant can do for you? No, oh, please, you're too generous. I was just passing. <laughs> <laughs> is your visit here for business or pleasure? Mm. Well, neither. I just came here to say hello to you. That's very kind of you. Tell me how long you plan to stay in my district mm. now. Well, I hope it won't be too long. It depends on reporting my mission and to the Emperor. Huh? The Emperor? Hmm. Commander Wong, I don't wish to disturb you any further. Commander, I must be Commander, sir. Commander! Commander! I'm sorry to report, but the stables are on fire, sir. A fire? Yes. Go and check it! Yes, sir. Here, guard the Imperial huh? Chop. I must see to the stables now, but I'll be back as soon as possible. What a cunning fox he is. What do you know? He makes me stay here with the chop. While he goes off to I don't know where. I must be careful with him. <laughs> I thought that I was smart, but no. <laughs> That was for feeding us. Very kind of you. <laughs> the attack, I think it's destiny. Or perhaps fate. I'm sorry for the disturbance. Please forgive me. Oh no, I'm afraid that I did not do enough for you and the kitchen you stayed in was too small. I'm sorry about that. Listen. <laughs> Dragon Lung, I want to repay you. Uh -huh. A monk never requires repayment. Dragon Lung, I know that. 
But there must be some way to repay you. Oh, if I could fight as well as you can, that would be excellent. I could protect myself and be invincible. Invincible! Well, that's no, no problem. I can beat you easily. Oh, wow, that's great. Hey. Oh, you want to kill me? You'll see. You find it easy? Oh, no. It's very difficult to follow your sword. Really? Is that the way you teach? Come on. Take it.
Well, you're the man to Eagle Chung. Is that right? <laughs> That's correct. But where are your clothes, you dummy? None of your business. <laughs> How is it now? Mm, uh, uh, Master uh, Chung, please, I'm sorry. P please let me go, won't you? Uh, all right. Uh, I'll forgive you, but you must work for me. Uh, no problem. I'll do anything you ask me to. Just let me go. Uh, please let me go. Oh, <laughs> you're a real dummy. Uh, listen, uh, let me go before I... Die of the cold here. It's really cold. Let me get my clothes. Monks, how dare they hide the betrayers? <laughs> Commander, this is an excellent opportunity for you, Commander. Don't pass it by. <laughs> this is your perfect chance to capture the betrayers and thereby get the promotion that you so deserve. Isn't that right? <laughs> they won't be considered Manchus. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. <laughs> hey, Commander. Now you take it easy. This guy, Eagle Chung, is nothing to be afraid of. You just remember this now. He got where he is because he's royal. And for no other reason than that, listen to me. <laughs> he cannot compare with you. You are smart. He was just born lucky. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, really? and cheat you, but that's impossible. You remember now. I owe you my life. You could have had me killed, but instead, you saved me. How could I ever betray you? You're like a father to me. I only want to help you. Now, there are criminals in that temple there, and this is your chance to go and get them. Search everywhere! Oh, yeah. 
Small fish, bring in the big ones. Hook, line, and sinker. Huh. <laughs> it looks like they've kidnapped Pearl. God damn it! <clears throat>
You take Pearl to Snake Cave and wait for me there. I'm gonna go and warn the others, okay? Okay, yeah. I'll see you there later. Okay? Right. I'll meet in the snake cave. Be there. Okay. 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 Yeah. Two days. All the revolutionaries meet in snake cave. Spread the word. Okay. Yeah, right, right. You just wait here. I'll go get some water.
Walk, we should reach Snake Cave. Yes, anyway, we must be very careful. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Dragon Long, you thought you were so smart, but I outsmart you each time. You dirty rat! I'm gonna kill you! I'll never forgive Take you! Take it easy, Pearl. <laughs> Eagle Chung, what kind of man are you? Of course, you're now my enemy. How dare you! Take my hostages away. So what is it you want? A duel. Huh? A duel? Really? That's right. This is the only way for me to show you my argument here. So I will tell you a story. Twenty years ago, there was a lord who betrayed his country simply for a Chinese girl. He formed a group of revolutionaries to fight against the emperor. I must kill this traitor, even though he's my father. But this story has nothing to do with me. But you play an important part. We must fight. Because the winner will be the one who finally settles this whole problem. I don't know what you're saying. It doesn't matter if you understand me or not. I know I found the right person. Ah, me, Taba. My name is Dragon Long. I was orphaned and grew up in the Shaolin Temple. So I don't see how I can be involved in this. For the true safety of Pearl beside you. And all the revolutionaries, you must fight with me now. You know, you really have no choice. But you do know that even if I fight with you now, you cannot crush the revolutionaries. <laughs> well, now, let me tell you the truth. Amanda Wong has got a spy in your group of revolutionaries. And he knows that they are meeting in Snake Cave. But I've advised him 
to await my orders today. Oh, uh -huh. so who the hell are you? I'm so very close, but you don't know me. Eagle Chung, I don't believe you have gone to all this trouble just for me. That's right. All for a jewel. Okay, you have my word. No, no, you mustn't. Chinese girls, always so emotional. Hey, no wonder the famous lord could so easily give up everything just for a girl. <laughs> Stop this. Where and when do we fight? In three days. Meet me beside the wood, next to the barren place. <laughs> here yet. <laughs> <laughs> Master. Good day to you, Chief Lee. <laughs> Good day, Chief Lee, and welcome to our place here. <laughs> oh, really? I thought you were expecting somebody else. Uh, no, no. Mm. Where's your mustache? I... Uh, Somebody shaved it off, right? Uh, 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 oh, I forgot something. I must go for a moment. Please excuse me. Don't leave now, you traitor! Uh, huh? I'm gonna teach you a lesson now, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Bring the traitor up here! Hurry up! No, 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 no please. No, please. In the Yangzhou, in a ten-day massacre, the Manchus killed all our Chinese people. So we must now take revenge for the Chinese against the Manchus. We must avenge for our country. We must avenge for its people. This dog betrayed our people. He betrayed, he betrayed our country and double-crossed us. So what can you say? What can you say? Do you have no shame? Just give me a chance. <laughs> I'll repent, really. <laughs> I know this kind. He can't be changed. He has to die. He deserves it. Reporting, sir. There's a monk with a lady waiting outside. Oh, bring them in. Yes, sir. <laughs> No, Brother Lee! <laughs> Welcome, Dragon. Glad to see you. Everything okay? Along the way? Good, good. Come this way, please. Good. Attention! I have important news! The new master that we have waited for has now arrived! But Lee Tak, where is this new master? Huh? Where? Master Lee Tak, we bow to you. Uh, 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 come on, what's all this nonsense you're talking about? <laughs> but my master, this is no joke. You are really our new master. Understand? This is the story. Chu Ming was our old master. And you're his son, Chu Man Hung. Fifteen years ago, the old master sent you to the Shaolin Temple in order to protect you from those Manchu assassins. Huh? 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 Uh, well, then how come she's your sister? I call myself Pearl Chow in order to confuse any spies we have. 
We suspect they might be present in our society of revolutionaries. Oh, I see. <laughs> Master Lo, um, we have dealt with this spy and we now await orders. Rumor is we fight in three days. That was just a trick. In order for us all to be present here to welcome you, I owe you, Master. Moreover, we need you to go over the commandments left here by your father, hmm. if you don't mind. Master, hmm. here they are. There are three main points. No more revolution. No more hatred of Manchus. We must join together to make a united China. Hmm. So that's why Eagle Chong wanted to fight. He knew I was the master of the revolutionaries. But I wonder, how did he ever know before I did?